How's it going guys? My name is Krasi and welcome to another FIFA 20 tutorial on my channel. In the following minutes guys, we are gonna be talking about the best game plans you can use in FIFA 20 after the latest patch. Guys, for Champions is just around the corner and I'm pretty sure that right now all of you are working on their starting 11 squads for the upcoming weekend league. But also guys, I'm pretty sure that most of you don't know which formation to use and what tactics and instructions to apply to your players to get the most out of your starting 11 squad. So in today's episode, we are going to talk about the best five game plans you can use after the latest patch. And first of all, guys, we are going to talk about the balanced game plan. You can use any formation, man. It doesn't matter as long as all of your players fit into the team and play on 10 chemistry. You can use any formation before minute one, but after minute one, guys, you need to change your formation. And right now I'm gonna give you four amazing game plans that you can use in FUT Champions. The first one is gonna be, guys, we are gonna talk about a very, very good formation that you can use after the latest patch. The four triple two, guys, I played over. 250 games on FIFA 20 Ultimate Team and honestly, in my opinion, that's one of the best formations you can use right now. You've got 4 defenders plus 2 CDMs and the CDM position in FIFA 20 is currently one of the most important positions because of the new defending in FIFA 20, guys. That's why I strongly advise you to use the 4-2-2-2 formation, guys. Let me show you the tactics. So, the force game plan is gonna be balanced with four bars depth that's a very very important option guys make sure to use between two and three and the reason is very simple in fifa 20 pace is everything guys pace is everything honestly if you use for example five six or seven trust me you cannot defend against players like cristiano ronaldo mbappe Aubameyang, and so on because they are extremely, extremely fast. That's why I advise you to use either two or three. Offensive style, fast build a play, no, no. Use fast, fast build a play, guys, only if you've got an expensive squad with Hulit, R9, Cristiano Ronaldo, Mbappe, Vieira, and so on. Otherwise, go and apply balanced. Wait, we are gonna use five bars, players in box. Honestly, at this stage of FIFA 20, I don't advise you to use more than 5 bars. And the reason is very simple. If you use 6 or 7 or even 8, you're gonna leave very, very huge gaps in defense. And you know, defending in FIFA 20 is very, very difficult. That's why I advise you to use 5. Corners, 2. You don't really need to apply 3, 4 or 5 bars. And the reason is very simple, guys. Scoring headers in FIFA 20 is almost impossible, so it makes no sense to use 3, 4 or even 5 players inside a penalty box. That's why I prefer to use 2. Also regarding free kicks, I, I would also advise you to use 2 guys. You can also use 3, but in my opinion, 2 is absolutely enough. So let's get straight into the instructions and the first and the most important instruction guys you need to apply to your defenders is stay back while attacking to your left and right fullbacks a very very important instruction guys otherwise you're gonna leave huge gaps in defense and the opponent is gonna catch you on the counter and score plenty of goals the same thing applies to the cdm position guys go and apply stay back while attacking to both of your cdms and also make sure to apply cover center to both of your cdms you don't want them to cover the wingers. You want them to cover the middle of the field. You want the CDMs to stay in front of your four defenders, guys. Regarding the striker position, go and apply the best instruction without any doubt. Get in behind and also stay forward to both of your strikers, guys. One second. Stay forward and get in behind. Regarding the left and the right central attacking midfielder position, Honestly, I don't advise you to touch the instructions. I don't advise you to apply any instructions to 
those positions. So this is my main game plan that I'm gonna use after minute one but also guys I have got one more game plan related to the 4 2 2 2 formation in FIFA 20 so first of all I go and pick the 4 2 2 2 formation guys let's get back to tactics and we are gonna use drawback honestly at this stage of FIFA 20 feel free to use drawback because defending is extremely extremely hard drawback will definitely improve your defending guys because your defenders will get closer to the goalkeeper and thus your opponents will find it difficult to create scoring chances especially if you're using a chip squad against a 5 or even 10 million coin squad in for champions make sure to use drop back wait we're gonna use four bars depth we are gonna use three bars again offensive style balanced with five bars players in box this time we are gonna use six six guys because here i'm using drop back so while attacking i want to have more players in the attack so i can catch the opponent on the counter and score goals corners two bars and free kicks two bars regarding the instructions guys we are gonna use step back while attacking apply to your left and right fullbacks also we are gonna use step back while attacking apply to your right or left cdm plus cover center and also we are gonna use let me show you drop between defenders apply to the other cdm guys plus cover center regarding the striker position we are gonna use getting behind and stay forward regarding the center attacking midfielder position guys i'm not gonna touch any option so this is my second main game plan for for champions using the 4-2-2-2 formation guys as you can see guys this game plan is a bit more defensive than the other one but trust me you're gonna find it extremely difficult to defend in fifa 20 so i'm pretty sure that most of you are gonna take advantage of the drop back in fifa 20 to concede less goals at least in the first two three weeks of fifa 20 until you master defending because as i told you guys defending in fifa 20 is extremely difficult man so let me show you guys the game plans that i've created so far we've got the four triple two formation with a well-balanced tactics for the best defense and for the best attack also we've got the four triple two with a drop back tactic yep drop back if you play against five million squad ten million squad Mbappe, Cristiano Ronaldo, R9 and so on and you've got a chip squad in for champions make sure to use drop back guys otherwise honestly you're gonna concede so many goals in for champions especially if you're facing off against Mbappe he's unreal guys with that being said guys let's talk about the second formation that I'm gonna use in for champions over the upcoming weekend I'm talking about the four 2-3-1 narrow formation once again one of the best formations you can use in FIFA 20 ultimate team to take a lot of wins so the first game plan is gonna be balanced with 5 bars depth 3 bars again guys I honestly don't advise you to use more than 3 bars after the latest patch honestly guys defending is hard don't use more than 3 bars at depth offensive style we're gonna use balanced with 5 bars players in box, 5 bars corners 2 and free kicks 2. Also guys, let me show you the instructions that we are gonna apply. Once again we are gonna use stay back while attacking, apply to your left and right fullback position. Also we are gonna use, this time guys I'm gonna use, let me show you, stay back, cover center plus stay back, cover center. For the 4 triple 2 formation guys I used drop between defenders but the 4 2 3 1 narrow formation is already a very defensive formation so it's better to leave both of your defenders play it stay back while attacking so regarding the striker position guys get in behind stay forward central attacking midfielder once again we are gonna use stay forward and honestly i don't advise you to touch the other options 
The same rule applies to the left and the right center attacking midfielder positions guys. I don't advise you to touch any options. So this is our third game plan. Let me show you. So we've got the 4 2 3 1 formation. We've got the 4 triple 2. We've got the 4 triple 2 again guys. And now I'm gonna prepare my last game plan for FUT Champions. So once again I'm gonna count on the 4 2 3 1 formation guys to score goals in ultimate team and I advise you to use that game plan in case you're losing the game guys you need to score a goal back. Defensive style pressure on heavy touch with 5 bars depth 3 bars once again I'm gonna use 3 guys don't use more than 3 even when you're attacking man it's you're gonna concede goals on the counter attack trust me use 3 at depth. Offensive style balanced with 5 bars players in box. Now we are gonna use 6 or even 7 guys. Corners 3 and free kicks 3. Regarding the instructions guys, I'm not gonna touch my defenders. I'm not gonna use stay back while attacking this time. I'm gonna play balanced attack. I'm gonna use getting behind, stay forward for my striker and my central attacking midfielder. Also, I'm gonna use stay forward for my left and my right central attacking midfielders. Regarding the CDM position guys, I'm gonna use cover center for both of my CDMs plus I'm gonna use get forward apply to one of my CDMs. So guys, let's recap. My main game plan that I'm gonna use after minute one will be the four triple two formation. Balanced, balanced. If I find it difficult to defend properly if my opponent is using a much better and stronger squad than me with Mbappe, Cristiano Ronaldo, R9 and so on, I'm gonna switch to the 4 triple 2 with offensive style balanced and defensive style drop back. So I can defend even better guys. If you don't like the 4 triple 2 formation, go and use the 4 2 3 1 narrow formation, balanced, balanced. If you're losing the game by one goal, I strongly advise you to go with the 4-2-3-1 formation, offensive style, balanced and defensive style, pressure on heavy touch. So guys, this is gonna be the end of today's FIFA 20 tutorial, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button below, also if you've got any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you all for watching and your boy Crossy will catch you later, bye bye.